Hey there peeps, it's Amanda Sohan with at home with teacup.com. I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, I'm here to read you chapter six of The Tumble. Uh, I hope everyone's been getting into it um, online on my web blog, maybe taking a peek at it. There's a lot of stuff on the blog, not just the story. Um, there's some makeup tips that I found out about, some hair tips, um, great products that I use that I've um, heard about that's really good on your skin, your hair, your nails, blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of good stuff to get into. I'm going to do a video about the table of contents. So if there's something you're interested in, you could just really hit two words and search it and it'll come up like that. So um, hopefully you'll use, utilize the site more than just maybe this um, story. Okay, so I'm just gonna remind you that you can read this story in full up to chapter, I believe, 35 um, at my website, www.athomewithateacup.com. Okay, so chapter six. Things happened in quick succession. I hardly had time to daydream. Derek fired me. I can't say that I registered any shock and surprise. He did it burger style. Not quite a post-it, but through an equally tactless email on Sunday night at 10 p.m. He listed vague reasons that were completely meaningless in an attempt to make it seem legit. I knew the real reason was that we had agreed for me to work for him for a certain amount of time, and then he would have to start paying me upon our agreed, our, he would have to start paying me our agreed upon amount, and it was too much for him. I'd like to say with some flavor that he simply couldn't afford me. And as accurate as the statement is, I had no measured bravado about the situation. I would have given him a dose of some real West Indian pepper mouth. But what was the point? I had checked out weeks ago. I was just biding my time, tweaking my res, and collecting a weekly paycheck anyway. No reason why unemployment wouldn't suffice until a proper gig came up. I was sorry that I wouldn't see him Tiaz any longer. Truth be told, I hardly saw him now. I was learning to accept the inevitable and just move forward. The distractions were bigger and less sexy. But what the hell? They were in my face and needed attention. I had to get more important shit together. I would spend this weekend contemplating my res since my hubby Marcus couldn't come home anyway and the kid had countless plans with her boyfriend and her friends. I had no excuses and no distractions. It was time to have a get her done weekend. I rolled out of bed and checked my phone, 1.17 p.m. The day was half over. It was gonna be hard not to revert to my vampire ways now that I was home. What can I say? They played all of the great film noirs around 1 a.m. and didn't stop until 6 a.m. I'm a sucker for Bogey and Bacall. You remember how to whistle, Steve, don't you? You just put your lips together and blow. I hit the kettle and turned on my laptop and set my mind in a new direction time to grind. Okay, so that is it. That's the end of chapter six. I hope you liked it. And um, I hope you have a great week ahead. And I will see you right here next week. Have a good one.